Hello, everyone. Welcome to the Become Elusive video series. <clears throat> I'm Jeff Barker, Vice President of Product Marketing with Elusive. Today, I want to discuss the solar winds attack, but in a different way. I know we're probably all starting to get a little solar winds fatigue. Um, I know I am writing about it, reading about it, talking about it. But for me, I want to talk about it in the context of why I joined Elusive. And the net of it is, I think that security and security, we need to change the game. Um, if we look at the attack, there certainly are some things that are new and novel about this attack. Um, the sophistication of the beachhead establishment and persistence was, was clearly um, indicative of an advanced attacker. Um, likewise, it's the first time we saw the Golden Samuel in the wild. We've seen it in the lab, but this is the first occurrence in the wild. But if we deconstruct this attack and we look at the kind of the key parts of the attack, um, once the beachhead is established, we've seen a lot of this in the past, right? The adversary lands on that beachhead and then they, they need to move laterally, right? We want to escalate our privileges. So we're going to harvest credentials. We're going to move laterally, escalate our privileges, ultimately to get administrative rights to achieve our goal. That's kind of, that's the key there in all of that. And, you know, whether it's this attack or kind of the new uh, version of ransomware that has APT style techniques uh, kind of blended in um, or past attacks, kind of all seems to be the same. And so, you know, if we look at the kind of how these are stringing together, it certainly does say we need to find some new ways of doing things. And, um, you know, our security controls are perimeter focused. They are defensive in nature and, you know, probabilistic, right? Looking at signatures, looking at behaviors. And I think we need to do something different, um, you know, this scenario where the adversary has to be right only once and the security professionals and our controls have to be right every single time just doesn't work anymore. So, you know, I think we need to put the um, attacker on the defensive, change the game, create an environment um, once they land and establish a beachhead that's much more hostile to them than it is today. And, you know, we're not alone here in this goal, right? We look at MITRE and they brought us the attack framework. And now they're bringing a shield, which is starting to define um, an active defense. And an active defense really means, hey, let's just go on the offensive. Let's find ways to keep the attacker on their heels to fool the attacker and make it much more difficult. So, you know, for us at Elusive, that active defense, there are several components and it kind of becomes a whole solution of, so what do we need to do to go on the offensive? Well, first thing we need to do is to, is to shrink the attack surface where we can. Let's eliminate those credentials and those pathways and that information that's cached on systems in the network that make it far too easy, or easy on the attacker. And then let's actually expand the, um, the attack surface with an array of deceptions, right? This isn't what we've done in the past, which is sprinkle around some honeypots. This is actually taking your endpoints and putting authentic deceptions on your endpoints to make it look like there's many more places for the attacker to go. Um, and thus, when the attacker makes the wrong decision, high probability they will, you know. And then you can collect information on them and their intent and do it you know, on demand. So that's to me what an offensive approach would look like and how we can change the game. And that's why I joined Elusive. So thank you for listening. I look forward to, uh, to talking to you more in the future and we'll double click on, on a number of these topics, but um, thank you and have a great day.